This was Aldi's, and this was 51. I really didn't need very much this week. It's, I need to go through all the freezers and the pantries and get a list because right now I am stuffed on everything in there. And it's kind of a waste to keep buying it. So I need to figure out what we've got and make grocery plans from this. Um, I also, this is a Monday. Typically, I shop on Wednesdays. I am going to be working from Thursday till Wednesday, the day before Thanksgiving. And then I'm off for about a week. Sorry, they are working on the deck next door, so it's rather loud. Anyways, the onions were on sale for 79 cents. Not sure why. And they were nice. I went through and really made sure I picked a good one. Um... Because I bought that bacon, I thought we'll have BLTs in the next day or two. So, lettuce, tomatoes. I was really out of produce. Uh, zucchini, Brussels sprouts, some mushrooms, uh, peppers. Eggs were, again, on sale for a decent price. I love my sourdough. Um, I make it and take it almost every morning. And also, on our dinners, you'll see we use it as a side. I really like that sourdough. Um, two things of cashew, uh, granola bars, just so I have something to take to work with me. The butter was also on sale. It was $2.49. Um, I've been buying the salt-free just and switching it out with my mom's. She went to the store herself this morning while I went and groomed her poodle. So needless to say, I just didn't even want to mess with trying to buy salt and then go back to her house and switch them. So when we get back to normal shopping, I will do that. Um, they didn't have the beef stock that Dax, we put on Dax's food along with the green beans. So I just picked up a chicken. Um, those look good. That was chocolate chip with almond brittle. No, that isn't something I would normally buy. Can I make it from scratch? Yes. But it is literally right now, my husband and I, neither of us need a couple dozen cookies. Yes, I can freeze them. But I've already said, my freezers are stuffed and I need to go through that before I keep putting more in. Although, I did buy chicken breast today to put in the freezer. It's a vicious cycle when you have three freezers. Um, I had taken my old, the rolled oats to my mom's while I was off work and staying there to make energy balls for my mom and my dad. I just left it all so that they would have it. Um, so I picked up a new one. My normal water, my normal almond milk. This was my... So I'm going to stop going to Starbucks. I go to Starbucks pretty much, here we go, my every day I stop there and get a coffee to take to work. So my goal is to use this, and my Keurig also has a iced coffee setting. But I wanted the sweet cream, but they had the mocha fudge cold Foam. So I thought we would try this just as something to take to work. I don't know if it'll break me of my habit, but I figure I can try. With my luck, I'll still go get an afternoon coffee. I just won't come in with one in the morning. So there you go. And that was 51. So this was Myers, and this was $59, and only because I also had a $15 off coupon from the Myers Perks. So I picked up a bag of green beans um, for the dog. Unfortunately, they have stopped. These are the cut. He likes the French onion, not as fond of these. I know, picky Rottweiler. Um, but they discontinued the French style, so he's going to have to get used to that. The chicken was $1.99 a pound. I really didn't need it. Actually, I don't know if I need it. I've got to do freezer cleanouts and go through and see what I have. But I figure worse comes to worse, I will just cube all of this into portions and we'll freeze it and we'll at least have chicken. That was a good price. Along those lines, uh, that was four oh nine. This was on sale in there, twenty percent off. And I'm gonna make a meatloaf, and I really prefer this. This is uh, pork and ground beef, and they usually it's a mix, but they sell it together, so it's cheaper than buying them separate. Uh, French onion, because my husband wanted ruffles. 
These were on sale, not a great price, but I thought just to have two more little sides on the shelf for something different. These are great for a quick night and they were on sale. He also wanted, my husband also wanted tortilla chips. My husband and son love this macaroni and cheese. It's fine, but I got the small ones normally when both boys are home and my husband. I get the family size, and they will devour it with very little left over as a side item. But it's just my husband and I, so I'm thinking he can get away with one of these. But these were on sale three for ten. So I figured he'd have them, and if you wanted it for lunch or something, they'd be there. Uh, the bananas, the apples were up in price, of course, because we're going out of apple season, but... They were still $1.49 a pound, so it wasn't too bad. Two juices. I could, unfortunately, I'm short, could only reach for the pineapple cranberry. He also likes the mango, but always top shelf and the girls five, too. I can't reach it. I haven't made it back to Sam's or Costco's, so needless to say, I just picked up one ketchup I don't typically drink this. I like sugar-free better, but I love this one. My son is moving home, supposedly, the one that only moved out a few months ago. And because of that, I went ahead and picked it up. And some paper plates for the cats, and I don't know if I mentioned my coffee. But that ended up being 59 So this was just a quick run in to Walmart. I also got weather stripping for the door and a few other little things that we needed for the house, but I didn't include this in my grocery haul, but this was $40. Um, I'm gonna make an Italian wedding soup and I went ahead and picked up the unsalted chicken broth, just less sodium. Um, I'll probably add some flavoring to it just so it it's not bland, but I just didn't want all the extra sodium. I picked up two things of the green beans. Um, it's the only place I can find it here is Walmart. So when I walk in the door there, I pick it up. Some cheese crackers, just so I have a few. Um, this is outrageously expensive. It's over $6. I'm going to make a, oh, a French bread Philly cheese steak, and it calls for mayonnaise, but I thought some of this would be really good. I'm not going to use the whole jar for it, so I should be able to use it for two or three different things. Otherwise, it's really good. It's a splurge. I picked this up for my mom. She rarely goes to Walmart. Um, I haven't run out to either BJ's, Sam's, or Costco's, so I just went ahead and picked up a four-pack to get me through the holiday weekend. I still have, I think... Three or four vanillas left. That should get me through uh, Thanksgiving. I got some Italian cheese for the Philly cheese steaks. I went ahead and picked up a diet mango and a diet pineapple for my husband. And I really just wanted some sugar cookies of all things. But that was right around $40. So back to Aldi's. We wanted an Italian wedding soup. It's my last day off before Thanksgiving. I also knew they had these cookies in, and I love these butter cookies. Spinach for the soup. Um, I'll use half the sausage and half the ground beef. And some carrots. It was right next to Walmart, so it was just easier to run in and pick that stuff up there. 